Hi guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and welcome back. So today I want to share with you guys on how to grow dragon fruit from cutting. I just received a couple of the new container from Vigo. This is the dragon fruit container. It's a new design. I love it a lot. As you guys can see, this is the container that have billion trellis and so beautiful and I love it a lot. And look at this, the container also have wheel that you can move around. So when I first saw this container, I am so happy for all of you that live in the colder climate and always want to grow dragon fruit. There are a couple of special features that I really love about this container is the trellis. So cute and made from heavy duty material. And another thing is it's a cell watering planter. So, which means when you water, there will be no mess at all. So for all of you that live in the colder climate that always want to grow dragon fruit, this is your chance because this container, you can grow them indoor during winter. Dragon fruit is in the cacti family. So which means they don't need a lot of water, but do not confuse the cacti that grow in the desert. So dragon fruit is a subtropical plant, so which means they are thriving in the mild and humid environment. And that's why it grows so well in my zone 10B, Southern California, because we don't have frost date. Dragon fruit cannot tolerate frost. So if you live in the colder climate and you want to grow dragon fruit, you cannot grow dragon fruit in ground or in a permanent container. You have to grow in the container that you can move them indoor. So move them in the garage or in the greenhouse and you set up a grow light and you don't even need to water them for the rest of the winter. And then you can bring them back out during spring. Okay, so let's move on to the cutting. And one of the most question asked is where can you buy the cutting? I would recommend to check on Etsy because Etsy, they sell everything. I got a lot of my unique seed from Etsy and they even sell live plant. So I have multiple cutting right here and I cut this about a few days ago. And the reason that you want to leave it for a few days because you want to leave around the cutting area to dry out because this will prevent disease and rotten. Now let's move on to the soil mix. Nothing special at all, you guys. Dragon fruit is one of the most easiest plant to grow. They can survive with anything. Even though you just plug it in the ground, it grow. So I only use potting mix. Uh, you can find any potting mix you want. You don't have to buy the expensive potting mix. So I use potting mix and also uh, compost, organic compost and make sure you mix them well before planting. So for next season, when you see the soil is kind of getting a little bit lower, you can add some extra potting mix and some more compost and that's pretty much it. So here is the cutting and you can see that it's a little bit long. So if you have limited of cutting, you can turn this into multiple cutting. I planted about a few inches deep. You don't have to plant it too deep. Uh, and make sure you press a little bit firm at the base uh, and we can tie the top later. All right, so this is another one. I know that's big, but the thing is when you grow bigger and healthy branches, this branch is already established, so it will give you fruit the next season. Some of the smaller branches, I will uh, cut them out later. All my dragon fruit cutting gave me fruit the next year. It may be fewer, but the next following years will give you a lot of fruits. Growing dragon fruit from cutting is a way to go. And I have a lot of you that ask me if you can grow dragon fruit from seed. Yes, you can grow from seed, but it's not guaranteed that your dragon fruit going to give you fruits. I even have some of you send me the picture of the dragon fruit the nine years old dragon fruit that grow from seed and never bear fruit at all. All right, it's all done. And my favorite part, I love to roll them around. The wheels are so smooth and I will never making a mess or make a stain on my concrete again. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.